we're in a position now where we're asking the question, does dentistry even have a future in the NHS? That's totally unfair on patients who pay their national insurance and they should be able to, able to access high quality NHS care. We've got a patient uh, with a lack of access to dentistry, another individual struggling to find an NHS dentist there. It seems getting access to an NHS dentist is a growing problem in Cornwall. Anger at, a waiting list. at the county's health watchdog, staff say it's the number one issue people are getting in touch about, with a noticeable rise in complaints in recent months. So we've heard stories of people uh, waiting over three years for an NHS dentistry place. Stories of um, one lady who's going to move out of county because she can't access NHS dental care for her autistic son. And another gentleman who actually contacted us because he'd been driven to take his own teeth out. Healthwatch Cornwall's launching a survey to get a wider picture and their patient feedback comes as no surprise to the British Dental Association, or BDA, which says NHS dentistry is increasingly a postcode lottery. The latest data suggests patients in several major towns in Cornwall, Penzance, St Ives, Falmouth, Newquay and Bodmin, would face round trips of up to 65 miles to the only potential practice that's accepting new NHS patients that's in Redruth. The BDA blames an NHS system set up in 2006 which caps the number of patients a dentist can treat. It says the contracts don't pay enough and there's a problem with recruitment. If targets aren't met, money is clawed back. In 2016 to 17, that clawback totaled around four million pounds across Devon and Cornwall. Dentistry in Cornwall is running on fumes. It, dentistry has always been the poor relation into medicine uh, there's never been it's never really been properly funded and that funding has just got just got lower and lower and lower and now we're in a situation where with the funding being cut even further it, it just doesn't have enough importance to the government for them to take it seriously the 10-year plan for healthcare came out high street dentistry didn't even get a mention so we have to ask the question when is it going to sort it out